Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, teacher. Okie dokie. Let's see. You are three and I. <laughs> so we have four as total. Well, let's see. Okay, let me check this because I don't know what happened. I did something wrong. <laughs> and I changed the quiz. Let me see, she's going to. Okay, anyways, we are going to do it in the other way around. Anyway, I have already prepared a quiz and then I I did something wrong and I don't know what, but the quiz is not there anymore. <laughs> but I do have them from the presentation, right? So anyways, we are going to use it from here. Okay, guys, so we're going to start. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. We have our third lesson. And uh, this is the quiz that I had already prepared, the quiz that I had there, but in a different platform. But anyways, thanks God, I still have it here. Um, we are going to have like um, feedback from yesterday, a feedback from the grammar structure that we were working uh, from yesterday that it was related to the use of uh, have to or has to. Do you remember that? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 
from yesterday, we have this. And since you were going to do it in an, uh, an individual way, but we're going to do it here all together to check if you still get the points, the grammar points in your mind. So I have here the exercise number one, and it says the company, and I need to use the verb buy, and this is the complement. If I take into account the grammar points from yesterday, what would be the correct structure for this sentence? The company has to buy. The company have to. Okay, the company have to. Uh -huh. Buy have to buy new material. material. The company have to buy new material. Yes? Is um, everyone... teacher, yes? Um, um, I'm considered that the company it's it's and so in this case uh, we we have used has for, for these sentences. Ah, okay. So you are not in agreement to have uh, to write have. You say that the correct form is has because company is third person singular. Right, Jennifer? Yes, teacher, right. Okay. So what about the others? Are you in agreement with her? Is that correct now? Or what do you think? Is it have or has? What do you think? Have or has? Jennifer says has. And uh, I don't know who did it, but said who said half. What is the correct? Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Jessica. The correct way is has to. The company has to buy new material because Jennifer, it is correct. The company, it is third person singular. If I substitute the company, I can substitute it by it. It has to buy new material. The company has to buy new material. So that is the correct answer. Good point. Number two. What do we have for number two? Your partners pile up containers. Have to. Have to. Okay. Your partners have to pile up, up. Pile containers. up containers. Con, con, oops. Containers. Your partners have to pile up containers. Good. Next one, the agents. Have to. Okay. The agents have to, oops, but we have something different here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do have do, do, don't, don't have don't. To. don't have to. Okay, the agents don't have to. Okay, don't <clears throat> have to sign the letter. The agents don't have to sign. 
to sign the letter. The letter. Okay, very good. Number four. Mr. Bonilla. Has to. Mr. Bonilla has to. Design. Design. New. new models. <clears throat> The group. Don't have. Don't have. Don't have. To work. Don't have on, to work. Until. Till. Late. Yes. Are we in agreement? Yes. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. There is an alarm. That is an alarm. That is an alarm. What happened? What happened in the last one, Jose Wilson? Beep, beep. Wow. It is correct because it is negative. It says not. But something happens. The group. Aha. Uh -huh. It is a collective now in this case. Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Okay. Because it is one group. So... We are going to say, and instead of saying don't, we are going to say doesn't. And then we have the group doesn't have to work until late. And now it is correct. Yes. So these are the feedback. These are the exercises from yesterday's class, right? This is the okay. feedback. Okay. Thank you. Now we are going to continue with the next. Let's see. I need to erase all this. Okay, guys, this is uh, the class for today. We have one specific objective here. And the participants will be able to talk about how and where people can stack certain products at my workplace or at their workplace. Um, when we are talking about auxiliaries, there are some of them that are called modal auxiliaries. In this case, we're going to study can or can't. This modal auxiliary has different meanings. It means that we need to understand the context to use the appropriate meaning for this modal auxiliary. The first thing that we have to take into account is that when we use this modal auxiliary, we need to do it in this way. I am you, I'm going to use the subject the auxiliary, the modal auxiliary can, and then I'm going to use the verb. The verb is here, but the verb has to be in the based form of the infinitive. What is the based form of the verb? Speak. That is the based form. Speak. 
if I do this, if I write speaks because it is third person singular, that is not correct. That is not correct because if I am going to use the modal auxiliary can, that letter S, it is not allowed. As in the same situation, if we use the preposition to, I'm not going to say he can to speak English. He can to speak to no. And I'm not going to say he can speaks English either. The correct form is subject, auxiliary, verb, and the verb and the base form. So it, it, it means that for the third person singular, I am not going to make any change with the verb. I'm going to add only the modal auxiliary and the verb, right? Now let's see. And this way I can see in a general way the modal auxiliary. And I have followed the same structure. Affirmative and negative statements. So I say, I can speak English. You can ride a bike. He can drive a car. She can play the guitar. It can swim. We can play football. You can see the stars. They can dance. I can't speak French. I can't ride a horse. He can't drive a truck. She can't play the piano. It can't fly. We can't play tennis. You can't see germs. And they can't sing. Affirmative versus negative. The only difference that they have is the negative form. And in that way, it is a contracted way because we say can't. I can't, I can't. You can, you can't. That is the only thing. And what about if I want to ask some questions? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the place of the modal auxiliary. And instead of saying, they can speak Spanish, if I want to use the equation, I'm going to move the modal auxiliary to the beginning of the equation. And then my question is, can, can they the speak Spanish? Can they speak Spanish? And we have two options for answers. Yes, they can. No, they can't. For the negative form, I can use it in two different ways. I can use contractions. Or I cannot use contractions. I say cannot. Contracted or not, he can't sing, he cannot sing. And in here, now I have my questions. But I told you at the beginning that the model auxiliary can has a different context. And if we don't understand the context, we are going to be a little bit confused. So we need to understand first, what is the context of this modal auxiliary? Let's see. Mm. 
we have here that the modal auxiliary can be used for possibility or prohibition. I can say, can you do that? Can you do that? Modal auxiliary can. You can't smoke here. Prohibition. Possibility. Two different meanings with the same modal auxiliary. Because what is that prohibition? Because if you're going to a restaurant and then you can see that uh, there is an ad which is telling you, hey, you can't smoke. Prohibition. You can't. But what about if I see another one? And then I say that we use the modal auxiliary and for ability. I can speak French. I can drive. Or in the negative form, I can dance salsa. Can you speak French? Can you speak French? Yes no. or no? No. I can speak okay. French. Okay. And then you are going to say, no, I can't. Your answer can stop and you can leave it in that way. Or you can say, no, I can speak French. Or it can be something positive. You can say, yes, I can speak pick French. But if we compare, if we compare this, it's different in the meaning if I compare with the previous one. You see? You can't smoke here. Ability. I can drive. Different meaning. Because this is for ability. The sentence is for ability. Then I have another one. Not only for ability, I have a third one. And the third one, it says that I have, that I can use the auxiliary can for asking or giving permission. Asking or giving permission. Can I go to the restroom? Asking for permission. And it has anything about ability. No, it says, can I go to the restroom? Permission. Or the other way around. You can use my phone. I am giving you permission for you to use my phone. Three different contexts now. Possibility, prohibition, well, four. Prohibition, ability, permission, asking or giving permission. Four. We use can in offers and requests. Offers and requests. For example, can you give me a hand? Can you give 
me a hand. It means that you are asking for help. Can you give me a hand? Can you help me? Another way to say. But also, I can offer my help. And then instead of saying, can you help me? I can change and I can say, can I help you? Can I help you? Can you help me? Different. If I say, can you help me? It is an offer or a request. It's a request. Okay. If you say, can you help me? Okay. I am asking for something. I am asking for help. I am requesting something. But if I say, can I help you? It is an offer or a request? It is an offer. That is an offer. And that is the difference. In the offer, someone else receives. But in the request, you receive. And that is the difference. You see how many different contexts do I have with the same with the same modal auxiliary? Right? But in the book we have in the book we don't have the four different usages for the modal auxiliary. In the book, we have only this ones. And it is going to be easier for you. This is going to be easier because we don't have many options. But I wanted to share with you because in that way, you know that we have four different options. This is what we have in the book. How to use can for information or possibility. For information, it says. For information, it is when we use equations because you need to know. When or where you need information. If you ask, hey, where can I stock all the new products? I am asking for information. Hey, where can I, where can I stock all the new products? In, for possibility. Can I ask, no, can I stock all the new products? You are using, you want to know if, you can do it or not. And here we have some answers. Where can I, or you, or she, or we, or they stock out the products? I decided to use they. They can stock all the new products in the warehouse. Or simply, in the warehouse, both options are correct. Both answers are correct. On the other hand, we have the can for possibility. And I say, hey, can you stack all the new products? Yes, I can. Or I can say no. Can you stack all the new products? No, I can't. I have to make the budget for tomorrow. So it means that I have another assignment. So that's why I cannot stock all the products. So you can refuse, you can deny what they are asking you to do. And this is what we have for can. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, we are going to think about um, 
different action verbs that you need in your job. In this case, in this job, they need to stack all the new products. But in your job, what questions can we have? Can we apply using WH for information, using the modal auxiliary can, we need to look for different verbs. WH questions, but also I want you to think for a yes no question. We are going to work in those um, action verbs. We are going to write down questions and we are going to answer the questions. But you need to think about your job. We're going to work. I have, uh, let me see. Let me see how many people do we have to work in different teams. Let me see. I'm going to do it manually because uh, we have a lot of listeners and now I'm going to make them for Let's see. Please let me know if you answer, I'm going to include you into a team, right? Berta Lilian Centeno? Present. Okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña? Present. Jessica Araceli Diaz? Present. Jorge Adilson Vasquez? Present. Okay. Oh, let me see. Kenya Stephanie Fuentes? Present. Osvaldo Garay? Present. Okay. Los demás veo que tienen oyente, oyente, oyente. Entonces solamente voy a hacer two different teams. Berta, Elsa, and Jessica. And I'm going to add to the next room to Jose Adilson, Kenya, and Osvaldo. Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Right. so what are we going to do? Veamos, refresquemos para que eh, vayamos seguros a, los que vamos, a lo que vamos a ir a hacer. What are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a ir a trabajar? Yes, say it in Spanish. Spanish. Yes. Eh, tenemos que hacer una oración utilizando el auxiliar. Cambiando el verbo por algo que hacemos en el trabajo y responderlo. Ok, ok, muy bien. Vamos a hacer, vamos a buscar, um, vamos a hacer cinco preguntas con sus respuestas por cada equipo. Y dentro de estas cinco preguntas van a ir de sus diferentes trabajos, right? Dentro de las preguntas, we are going to include WH questions. And yes, no questions. Yes? Yes. Okay, guys. So we are going to have five minutes to work on this and then we come back. Let us go and work. No, 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 no. Okay, Remberto, I'm going to include it because uh, I haven't assigned you. Are you going to be able to work? Okay, so I'm going to send you to a room. Vamos a ver si se logran a donde no se conecte alguno lo voy a mandar. <laughs> Let's see. Two, two. It is missing one. Vamos a ver. Okay, I'm going to send it to the second, to the first team. Team number one, Roberto. Okay. Okay, good. Okay.
Okay, now there it is. Uh, es, este yo monitoreo eh, la calidad de los productos no directamente sino que mediante persona uh -huh. Uh -huh. ahora la pregunta en inglés podría ser ¿qué monitorea Elsa? ok este. O, por ejemplo, cuando tomas muestras para el monitoreo. Uh -huh. O, oh, no, no, como tenemos que utilizar el, el auxiliar, can, I'm so sorry. ¿Cuándo puede monitorear Elsa? Ok, porque quiero que ella llegue el domingo. <laughs> Entonces, I want to. Teacher. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yes. Domingos son sagrados. <laughs> Okay. Uh, when can Elsa take when can Elsa take um, el verbo monitorear? Claro, esa voy a ver muy super lista. Y a Remberto lo veo ansioso. What happened, Remberto? <laughs> um, teacher, so um, I don't know, but um, I appear in my laptop and but in uh, I appear too in the group in the rest of the people. So oyente, I don't know what to say. In the oyente. Sí, aparezco en las dos. Estoy ahorita con, con, con las dos compañeras, pero también, eh, como estaba, tuve problemas, the... con la, tuve problemas con el iPad, lo hice en la computadora, pero ahorita que ya me conectó también el iPad, eh, aparezco como oyente en el grupo de oyente, entonces no sé. En cuál... <risa> <risa> okay, ¿Y entonces se ha puesto de oyente? No, o sea, en la laptop estoy acá, pero normalmente trabajo en el iPad, porque... No, pero si usted no se ha puesto oyente, trabaje aquí, porque aquí no están los oyentes. Okay, entonces voy a, voy a cerrar, voy a, sí, voy a cerrar esta, entonces. Ok. ¿Qué? No está, está, yo dije, ¿qué hice? Eh? Aparejo en dos, <risa> excelente. Puedo duplicar mi presencia en los lugares. Oye, es, sí. Es como usted dice que siempre está presente. <risa> excelente. No se trata. Ok. Ah, pues no, voy a borrar entonces. Ahorita pongo otra. Teacher, es relacionado al trabajo, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Yes. Sí, sí es relacionado a su trabajo, ¿ok? okay. Usando el auxiliar we can, ¿ok? Ok. Pero en este caso, solo con esas dos opciones, like possibility or information, right? Puede ver lo que he escrito en el chat, ¿o no? What can... Yes, I can do it. Vamos a ver. Sí. Can... La Yo mía no veo nada también. en el chat. ¿Qué le puedo? Yo no veo en el chat nada, chico. No le puedo decir. No. Lo voy a enviar otra vez. ¿Qué haces en tu trabajo? Ok, Osvaldo. What area can you send this mail? You can send the email to the Ajá, uh -huh. you can send the email to the sales area. Can I send this email? Yes. Lo hice similar al ejemplo que nos había presentado. Sí, sí, no, pero están bien, están bien. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Sangliet, both, okay. ¿Qué otro podría ser? Mm. Ahorita voy a poner ya la mía. Y es como ellos lo pueden presentar en y el lugar. Yes, I can put uh, shop Merlot. They can present their products. ¿En dónde? Merlot. Uh, shop Merlot. Mall. O de Merliot Mall. Uh -huh. Ok, Merliot Mall. Entonces sería, they can, they can present their products in Merliot Mall. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Vaya. Ahora tú. Uh -huh. Alberto, ¿cómo me, me, voy, me, me voy conectando pero tengo entendido que estamos formulando preguntas. Acerca del estamos trabajo. Estamos buscando el verbo auxiliar quién. Okay. Este, estábamos hablando de información o posibilidades. Usar el qué información o posibilidades. Tal vez en mi caso, no, por ser agrónomo, Tendría que ser, eh, tal vez, when can visit farmers. Ok. Ok. On the week. When can... Canberto? Visit farmers. Visit farmers. On the week. Y ahí tal vez um, la respuesta tendría que ser... What are can you send? Can you talk? What are can you send? For the... Y el negativo, ¿cómo sería? No, you can't. Ahorita. Oh, no, oh, you, no, you can not. ¿o ¿Cómo sería? Mm, bueno, yo la noté que decía no, I can't. Cuando es. No, eh, I can't. Ajá. No, I can't. 
No, you can. No, you can't. Okay, guys, we have just two more minutes and we come back, right? Okay, guys, could you finish? Yes, right? Yes. yes okay. Teacher. Can we listen or can we see the equations that you were working with? Uh, read them. We, we can read. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start and then my others. Um, Classmate? Classmate. Okay. Ah, but the first one I Okay. <laughs> Who has the first one? Uh, Berta, can you read the sentence? 
the answer, uh, the question. <laughs> I can't write. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roberto, can you can you do it? No, no, I can't. But in this moment, I try to duplicate my personality in this group. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember, I'm Batman. So it's very complicated. <laughs> But just read. Okay, I'm going to I remember this uh, when Elsa. El verbo sí me no se me se me olvidó. I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. okay. When can Elsa monitor the products? She can monitor at Sunday. Okay, and she the... can monitor um, the products on Sunday. Okay, products on okay. Sunday. Okay. Number two, where can a... Where can bimbo shops present uh, the Christmas products? Uh, they can present their products in Marriott Mall. Can you repeat the equation, Elsie, por favor? Ah, que no. Ah, hice bien. <laughs> Creo que me equivoqué. No eh, pueden ayudar. Ok, let's see. Can bimbos present the Christmas, present the Christmas product? Where can, when we say bimbos, it is the, the, the company, the... Yeah. Bimbos. Yes, the company. Yeah. Okay. So where can Bimbos? What else? The verb? Present. Present. Present the Christmas product. Oh, yes. It is. It is. It is correct. Okay. But uh, it is they, where, ¿verdad? Where. Sí, where. Okay. Where. They can present their products in Marriott Mall. Okay. Yes. Number three, when can Roberto visit farmers? Mm -hmm. uh, he can visit farmers three days per week. Okay, good. Number four, can Roberto visit farmers five days per week? Yes, he can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he can. He can. <laughs> and Every every place. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, number five. Can Berta change the place to present the Bimbo Christmas product? No, she can't. Okay, very good. So you use one affirmative and one negative. Very good, guys. And the next team. We got only two teams. The other uh, team? Kenya. Uh, Yes. Um our time. Can you use the computer? Yes, I can use the computer. No, I can use the computer. Number two. Can you tell for the phone with your clients? Yes, I can tell for the phone with your clients. Eh, no sé si me pueden ayudar mis compañeros porque estoy desde el cel. Okay, Kenya. Okay, they are going to help you. The only thing that I can tell you is that if you are using to the phone, you know we are not going to say talk. We are going to say call. Or did you say call? I see. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> call by phone. Okay. Good. Ahorita lo corrijo. The other what? Iria, can you send this email? You can send the email to the sales area. Okay. Area. Area, can I yes. send this email? Yes, you can. Another, can you create the contract without the client signing? No, you can't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> but that is okay. Good. Right, mm -hmm. because we are going to, we are talking about something very serious. Okay, that's all, guys. 
Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, so that is what we have with the auxiliary can. Now, from the book, we have some more exercises. But now I think that is, they are going to be like easier for us to understand them because we have already complete. Now, I have this, it says pay work, but we are going to answer them here together. Repeat, please. We are going to answer this. I was reading the message from Jessica, I think, in the chat box. Okay. We have three different equations here. Now you can identify. They are very similar to the equations that you have already written, right? The first question, it is yes, no question. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Okay, let's see. The second one, where can you store 50 refrigerators? Can you store the tablets on shelves? Okay, this is what we have from the book, right? This, um, it is based on different information that we have in there. But let us suppose that we don't have any context. Without any context, I want you to answer this question. One logical answer. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? What do you think? Yes or no? No. So the answer might be? A person no. cannot. No, she, she, she can. She can. Okay, you can say she, but if it says one person, you don't know if one person is going to be a she or he. That's why it is better to say no. What did you say? Uh, I don't know if Ovaldo answered. A person can not. Okay. Okay. A person cannot store all the televisions oneself. So he needs help. We need to give extra help. Number two, where can you store 50 refrigerators? No, I can't. Ah, Berta, but now happens, it happens that it is WH equation. No puedo decir, oh, sorry, sorry. no, I can't. Uh -huh. mm. I, I can store it in refrigerator on the... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice bodega? <laughs> Warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Okay. And number three. Can you store the tablets on shelf? shelves? Where is shelf? Yes, you can. Okay. What is shelf, Osvaldo? Uh, <laughs> Stante, <I guess>, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those are the shelves, the stantes, right? Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. You can store them. In this, what is important now, you can see quantity. We are talking about storing here. Store, store, store. But I don't know in your company, but if we are talking about, for example, um, a company that he need or, or they need to pile up different boxes, 
there are certain aspects that we need to take into consideration before filing the map, right? For example, in your house, let us think just in your house. When you want to store different objects from your house and you put them in a box, imagine that you are uh, storing um, glass. Um, oh, not glass, okay, uh, how can I say the dishes? But they are made of glass. How are you going to store it? Va a guardar vasos de cristal al igual que usted va a guardar juguetes? No. What do I you can't. take? Aha, what do you take into account? ¿Qué es lo primero that you think? Se quiebra. Ajá. Ajá. Piensa que le podrá poner otra caja encima. Pile up. One after another one. ¿Será que se lo va a poder poner? Paper. <laughs> Ajá. So you are thinking, how am I going to store it? this am i going to be able to pile them up or i need to look for another place to organize this that is what you need to think before storing all those um objects in this case the products because we are going we are talking about the products and that's why we what did I do? I stop sharing. Okay. So I'm going to start thinking about this. Then we are going to. My product. I need to take into account different features about them. Do you remember this vocabulary from the vocabulary that we started on Monday, weight, dimension, quantity, even we got more, we have size. Do you remember that we were confusing um, with, uh, with the different vocabulary? These features are important at the moment that you are going to store them. Imagine this uh, company, I'm thinking about Omnisport. They sell refrigerators, they sell stuff, they sell microwave ovens, they sell different products. The size, the dimension of the products are huge, right? It is not the same to look for a place where to store refrigerators than if you are selling bottles, plastic bottles, right? If you are selling plastic bottles, you are going to think in a different way. So that's why here, in this slide, we have the products, and the features that they have. For example, I have tablets, televisions, refrigerators. They have different characteristics. Wait. Vean la diferencia, tablets, televisions, and refrigerators. Dimensions. tablets, television, and refrigerators. We are changing in quantity 200, 150. The features are going to depend from the product. 
Do you understand this? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. We understand this. Yeah. But we need different ways to understand. What is the meaning for this? Gramos. Grams. Aha, uh -huh. and in English? Grams. And this? Pounds. In this? Mm. Okay. Inch? Inches? Inches. 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 Okay. For that, for this vocabulary, we need to understand this. We have now this. We need to understand that the vocabulary, whenever we are going to um, store products, we need to understand the length, the weight, and the capacity that they have, right? For example, right. we have here the vocabulary for millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, grams, kilograms. Yeah. Tons, millimeters, and liters. Then we have inches, feet, yards, miles, ounces, pounds, tons, fluid ounces, cups, pence. Cards, gallons. We have to know, we need to understand this vocabulary. But what happens is that sometimes we have this vocabulary, but we don't know how to say it in English because we don't read it. For example, when you say, this, when you have this, and then you start, mm, how do I say that? Gra grammos, grams, how do I say it? So this is what we need to understand. And also, we need to know how to show them, right? Because uh, this is like the shorter way how to write down grams, right? In some recipes, you have this. I cannot erase it. In some recipes, you have this. Abbreviations. We have abbreviations for volume and also for temperature. If we are preparing a recipe, this is the abbreviation for Tablespoon. 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 Teaspoon. 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 Gallon. Teaspoon. Gallon. Pen. 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 Quart. 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 Uh, classmates are sending messages. Cup. 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 Litter. Litter. Milliliter. 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 It sounds weird. Milliliter. Okay. Milliliter. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Temperature. 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 We say we have here. Temperature. 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 Okay. Here in our country, the temperature it is with Celsius. Celsius. But in some other countries, Celsius. it is Fahrenheit. 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 And then we have another one that is the calorie, right? But now, Teacher. this one, yes, LT. Y uh, Kelvin, también Kelvin se dice en inglés. Yeah, also, we can use Kelvin. We can use, because we have, we have many, right? We have many of them. And now here, I am uh, showing you. This. This is what we have. For example, in the recipe, this is what we have. And this is what we need to understand, right? This is what we want to understand for each of the abbreviations that we have in here, right? Of course, we are not talking about recipes, but we need to know that we can use this vocabulary for Maybe if you imagine that you are working in a cafeteria, we need to understand this because it is going to be very useful for you. Imagine that you need to, um, you have to store all these uh, product. Let us imagine that you are in church of storing old this product butter baking soda salt eggs milk chips how are you going to store them who are you going to manage the boxes that they are going to send you are you going to pipe them up or not okay we are going to use a recipe in this moment, I don't know what recipe you are going to work with, but I want you to look for something easy, something very basic that you prepare. I don't want you to look there in the web. I don't want you to go online in this moment to look in, looking for a recipe, no. I want you to write down like a recipe that you use. And of course, I want you to include this. I want you to use this vocabulary, but include the full term of that, of the ingredients. Yes? Teacher. Yes, Elsie. Yeah. Tables, 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 spoon. Es cucharada y teaspoon es cucharadita. Yes. Otra vez. No, that's it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? The teaspoon, it is shorter than a tablespoon. That is bigger. Okay? Okay. Are you ready, guys? Creo que vamos a ready. seguir con los mismos, right? Let me see. Sí, vamos a seguir con los mismos. Okay? Let me, we are going to have, uh, dependiendo de la receta que hagan, <laughs> I think that I'm telling you to, to prepare like a basic, um, let's see, five minutes, no more than five minutes. Check your watch, five minutes, five minutes, okay? okay. Check your watch. Basic, okay. basic recipes. No el proceso, only the ingredients. Go and work.
Humberto, I don't know what happens. I'm trying to send it to, to, the, to your team, but it doesn't work. ¿Qué es chunky? ¿Pancakes? Chunky pancakes. ¿Qué es chunky? Ajá, uh -huh, chunky. 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 ¿Son qué? No me sale. Chunky. Eh, Como que son trozo. bolitas. Uh -huh. Bolitas. Uh -huh. Trozos. Sí. Bolitas de pancake. Pa eh, trozos de pancake, es algo así. Ajá. Pancake es con trozos, algo así. Sería algo así más. una tacita de harina, no una cucharada. Ah, lo que puedes ver. Dos huevos. Cuarto de taza de leche. Esquimen, ¿qué será? Esquimen. Ah. Bueno, traducimos la del chunky. Ay, señor, cuánta seriedad ahora aquí for preparing the recipe. Es que ya terminamos, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Ok, good. Y los otros chicos todavía no hayan por dónde comenzar. Y aquí comenzamos buenos. <risa> <risa> Lo bueno que para preparar también, ¿ok? Sí, sí. <risa> ok, voy a ir a apresurar a todos los chicos entonces, ¿ok? Mm, bueno. <risa> Thank you. 
Have you finished, guys? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Casi, casi. Este es el momento más difícil. After, when we arrive, when we get nine and something, then it's coming the most difficult part, right? Because almost everyone is sleepy. <laughs> That's why. Let us survive. Okay, guys, let's see. Todavía no han regresado los otros chicos. But they have finished. Ahí están ya, creo. Yes. Ok, guys. Can I listen or can I see your recipes? Let's see what you're going to prepare. We have a jam omelette recipe. Jam omelette? Recipe. Recipe. Okay. Re recipe. Recipe. No, recipe. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, we need two eggs, three ounces jam. Of okay. jam. Uh -huh. I, I have to say. Off or no? Yes, you can say it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, one teaspoon of onion, one teaspoon of garlic, five ounces of cheese, one tomato, uh, one quarter of green pepper, two teaspoons of oil, and a pinch of salt oh my goodness i'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> i'm hungry now i imagine <laughs> you didn't say what uh, the process but with all the ingredients i i am hungry now okay thank you okay it it sounds delicious what about the other team what are you preparing Osvaldo? What? <laughs> Sorry. Do you yeah, have your mean, recipe? I... Perdón, te chere que estaba haciendo algo y me desconcentré. Sí, perdón. Okay, no don't worry. What about your recipe? The chunky pancakes. Okay. okay. <laughs> what? Chunky pancakes. O trozos de pancake. Así. Okay, chunky pancakes. Oh, really? Que ya son pedacitos así como más bonitos, no el pancake redondo, vaya. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> ya más para bocadito ya hecho. Okay, good. Permítame. Uh -huh. Ahorita lo leo. One cup of uh, porcelain flour. Uh -huh. Three teaspoons baking powder. Powder. Uh -huh. Sorry. Powder. Teacher, ¿cómo se lee un cuarto? Lo siento. Ah, 
pen <risa> paint cuarto de qué un cuarto de leche de, de taza un cuarto de cucharadita de azúcar de sal perdón ah no but that is with a with a teaspoon right that is one One, one teaspoon. teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. Uh, yes. One one teaspoon salt. Three cup skimming milk. Three tablespoon butter. Two eggs. One tablespoon with sugar. One teaspoon vanilla extra. Vanilla. Uh -huh. Vanilla. Vanilla extra. One large banana. One good. Swimmy sweet chocolate. Chocolate Swim. chip. chips. Chocolate chips. chips. Okay, chocolate chips. One cup chopper pecans or walnuts. Walnuts. Okay. Finish. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it has a lot of ingredients. Okay. Okay, it has banana. The peanuts. What else? I perdí la imagen. <laughs> ah, you had the picture and you didn't share it. No, es que la, la uh -huh. copié y se mandó la captura en el grupo. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay. okay. You can you yeah. can paste it there in the chat box. Okay. Just okay. to see it. Just to see it. Okay. Now that we have prepared our recipe, now we can continue. And the... Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Cómo, cómo se decía media taza? No era cucharada. ¿Cómo se dice media taza? It o has, media taza, digamos, de algo. Media taza de chocolate. Half cup. That's why it is a cup. Cup. Right? Okay. Half a cup. Half. Half a cup. Half. Oh, okay. Okay. Half. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Now, before continuing with this vocabulary, because the last part, it is related to drawings, vamos a ir a hacer un drawing, pero antes vamos a hacer un review un, un short quiz about the usage of can and can't y ahí lo tienen in the chat box pero díganme si you can get into the link son de esos quizzes very easy right pero pero it is good to start checking this we have 10 difficulties When you finish, please screenshot and post it in the chat box. Can you, can you get into it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So complete it, please. Complete that short quiz before start drawing.
finish nine. Okay. Okay, please the screenshot. My group la voy a mandar porque aquí no me carga nunca, no sé por qué. Ah, really? Sí, yo creo que porque tengo demasiadas cosas en el teléfono, por eso. Ah, well, it might be. It might be. Ahí está. Ok. Ok. A mí tampoco me carga aquí. La voy a poner en el, en el chat de WhatsApp. Ok, and I'm going to check it there. Ahí. Ok. Sí, sí, puede aquí. Creo it que... is faster, right? <laughs> in WhatsApp it is faster. No, pero acá en el chat de, de el... Ah, from the class. Sí, okay. sí, sí puede. Okay. ¿Saben que se me volvió a olvidar la lista de beginning? Come on. Now that at nine thirty <laughs> four, we are going Okay. Si, si la pasó, teacher? No, no la pasé la lista. Yo me acuerdo que sí, que por eso no fuimos al a los grupos pequeños. No. Sí, no. sí la pasó. No, guys. Sí, sí la pasó, por eso dijo que iba a ser grupos pequeños, que solo habíamos pocos. Ah, no, no, pero ahí porque les estaba preguntando si podían ir a trabajar, ¿ok? Ah. Oh. Ok, por eso. Ok, pero igual la voy a pasar later de una sola vez. In, in, in five more minutes, I'm going to do it. Okay, guys, so I have here, oh, but there are some listeners that you have done it. Mateo de Jesus did it. Adilson, Adilson no se logra ver. Okay. But it, it is for everyone who wants to share it, right? Now. And we are going to uh, almost get into the last part of this because this is important. As I said, whenever we whenever we are thinking about how to store it, here I have another one that is related with the length, height, distance abbreviation. We have the foot. Inches, yard, mile, meter, centimeter, kilometer, right? This is the last part that we have for this class. And this is symbols packaging. Symbols packaging. Maybe in the place where you work, you don't need to have these symbols, right? But it is good to know them in a general way. I have just a couple of them and later you are going to create your own symbol. But let's see, let us try to understand these symbols. The first one, it says that it reminds those hand in package to keep out of the rain. To keep out of the rain and not to stirry in the damp conditions. Right? It is normally found on card-based packages with will be damaged if placed in contact with water. So whenever you see an umbrella, it means it means that if the product is 
close to water, it will be damaged, right? It will be damaged, so you better avoid placing that box near water. And it has sense, right? Because when do we use umbrella? Well, we use the umbrella because we want to protect ourselves. So similar to that, it is this symbol. That you need to protect the product from the rain, from water in general. Then we have the second symbol. We have like a broken cup, right? This one, uh, in this, uh, indeed it is a wine glass. And then it says, the broken wine glass suggest that the product in the packaging would be easily damaged. Most of the products, they say fragile. Why? Because they can be broken. So they have to be protected. And if we want to pile them up, they ha they cannot be really high. They have like a certain packages, one box after another one, but you have to be very careful with them. Otherwise, they are going to be broken. Okay, siguen llegando los results. Okay, good. Then we have more. We have this. Two hands. This is one hand. This is another hand. It says the two hands holding or protecting the package. This is another reminder that the content should be handled with care. With you protect, you protect the, the product because it is very fragile too. But this is another symbol that we can use to say that the product is fragile. Then we have another one. The symbol seen opposite else, yes? Podemos usar cualquiera de los dos, ese o el de la copita para algo frágil. Yes, yes. It depends from what you want. But, for example, the previous one goes, it is more related to uh, glasses, right? Uh, okay. Uh, it is more yeah. related. And in this, it goes, maybe it is smaller, it is not a glass, but it is fragile. This is another kind of product, but it is very fragile too. Okay. 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 And these symbols is telling you that. Oops, that it has to be stored right in that way. It is like the position that you need to pile them up. Hacia arriba or hacia abajo. But in this case, they are saying. Face up, uh -huh. face up. So this, and you need to respect that. So it says that the rough points toward the top of the package, face up, right? Maybe, maybe we can have some products that are going to be face down. But in this one, if you find out this, y como sabemos que es face up and not down, because you have this, the base. Right? You have the base here. That's what it says. Okay, it goes face up. <clears throat> then we have another one. In the, this is related with the symbol of thermometer. And this is, uh, for example, this is related, it says on packages containing food or drink. 
but it says the symbol clearly shows that the content should be stored a certain temperature. If you see that, it is because we need to respect the temperature. Otherwise, the product, it is going to be damaged. <clears throat> and if we are talking about food or drink, <clears throat> we are not going to use it again. We need to discard. So we need to pay attention. This product says between 20 or 10 degrees Celsius. Temperature. Right? Right. Okay. Then we have another one. What do you think that symbol is? <laughs> This is, a uh -huh, this is a phone, but this is, a, this is a letter Q. This is the letter Q. The telephone is attached to the letter Q. Listen, and it means that if you are not happy with the quality of the product package contents, you can read customer services number. So if you don't like, if you didn't like what you got in the product, and then you can call, right? You can call, that's why this Q is related to quality. Quality of the product or the package, whatever. But it allows you to make that phone. You call and express your idea that you are not happy with that product. I don't know if it is only me, but I am cold. I am cold. Have you checked the temperature? I'm gonna check the temperature. Let's see. Twenty-three degrees Celsius. Twenty-three degrees Celsius. It is. It is cold. Aren't you cold? Yes. Okay. A cuánto están ahí? ¿Dónde están ustedes? Degrees. Twenty-six. 26? 22. Yeah. 22. 28. I, 28? I have 23. <laughs> I am cold. I am cold. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, the next symbol. Let me see. We don't have too much time. Then we have uh, these ones. This like happy face represents customer satisfaction. And it says that it's, it, is, it is telling you that the product has been prepared for your enjoyment. But if you are not completely satisfied, please return the product and it packaging too, right? So, but it represents your happiness if, if the product is what you expected, right? And the last one, what we have here suitable for vegetarians, we have different ones. Because there is another one in which in the middle they have a, a different uh, sign, but we can have different. Now, what we're going to do is that we need to create our own symbol. This is uh, the ones that I was telling you about the vegetarian. The difference is just the check in the middle. The second option, it is uh, related to some leaves, right? But in the, third, in the first one, it is like a tick. But both are 
both represent um, um, that the product can be uh, suitable for vegetarians. And now we are going to create our own symbol for a package. Let us use your imagination, okay? This is just a matter of trying to share a message through an image. This is what we have to do. What would be your symbol for your product? Imagine what the product is, and then you need to create the symbol, okay? At least something on your notebook, and then you are going to take the picture and you are going to post it in the chat, in the chat box, right? But of course, <clears throat> I want you to talk about the product or if, um, what else? This is going to be something individual. You're not going to work in teams. You are going to think in this, in this right moment, you draw it on your notebook and you post the picture in the chat box your own symbol. No rose, es que no he pasado lista. Ya la voy a pasar. Indeed, la voy a, lo vamos a hacer en este momento. Okay. La primera no fue la lista. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Lo que sucedió es que estaba preguntando quiénes iban a, a, a ir a trabajar. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. okay, ahora sí va la lista, pero acuérdense que son dos veces. Estoy fallando que solo una vez la estoy pasando. Okay. Allá por las ocho y media, ocho cuarenta, siempre acuérdenme, please. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisset Barrera Hernández. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Ahí está Mateo. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Está Maximiliano. Ok. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Present. Hernández. Present, teacher. Teacher. No, pero sabemos que sí aún. Valeria, hola. Sí. Present. Ajá, Jessica. Two hours later aparece Jessica. Ok. <laughs> Rosa este Rivera, si me Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia, Wilfredo Renderos León, Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. Okay, guys. Now we have to create our own symbol. 
let us work. You have five minutes, the most, for you to uh, post your picture in the chat box. Su símbolo y el producto. En del cuaderno haga el dibujito, right? And then you post it in here. Yes, verdad? Este, yo estoy en el teléfono, no puedo dibujar. No, en el cuaderno. Ah, ok. En el cuaderno, y en el cuaderno le toma la foto con el teléfono y la pega. Ok. 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 Let us use our imagination. Se fijaron que los dibujos son muy flexibles, los símbolos. Ok.
<laughs> Comenzaron a llegar. <laughs> okay, Osvaldo. <laughs> what is the meaning of that symbol? Que no se sole, algo así, que no, le, que no se exponga el calor, algo así. Ah, ok. Así como el paraguas era, que no se exponga el agua. No. Ajá, sí, le puse un techito ahí a la caja. Ok. <risa> good. Ok, good, Osvaldo. Osvaldo ya se va a poder retirar después que lleguen las 10. <laughs> the other ones, no. <laughs> Till you send your picture. <laughs> y van a comenzar a cantar todas las pictures. <laughs> Ya envié a mí, ahora llegó. ¿Pero a dónde? ¿Al chat? No. ¿La del símbolo? Sí. No, solo la de Osvaldo tengo. En el chat box. Ah, en el chat box. I'm, I'm checking Ahí. the phone. Ok, let's see. Okay, Berta, I'm going to see. Ah, okay, caffeine free. Okay, and then you have the cup, coffee, and it is cross it out. Good. Yes. Okay, good. So Berta is free too. Okay, Elsie, let's see Elsie's Thank drawing. You. Good night. Ok. No, no se vaya todavía. Falta one minute. Ah, ok. Ok. And Elsie, that is a flame. What is the meaning of the flame? Is the fire symbol represent that the material is flammable? Ok. Ok. So you have to be very careful with it. Ok. Yeah. Thank you, Elsie. Ok, Berta, Elsie, en Osvaldo, te estarían libres, pero espérense que falta un minuto, si no les va a hacer falta ahí en la asistencia. Don't go. Okay. <laughs> Miren los demás. No se van a querer ir. Ya durmieron. <laughs> Y como no les veo. Oh, no. <risa> Aún falta. Why, why no Hasta roncando no antes. De estar. <risa> no podemos dibujar. Y que no están viendo. Bueno, miren el chat, el, el dibujo de Osvaldo. <risa> Soy el mejor ejemplo. Yeah. Uh, uh, they are my drawings. <risa> Así que excusas no hay. Aquí sabemos o no sabemos dibujar. But... Se, me Se me cierra un ojo. You are counting time. Ok, guys. Ok. Eh, Elsie, you are free. Berta, you are free. Osvaldo, you are free. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, see, you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. see you tomorrow. Good night. Vamos a ver quiénes quién se escapa. Vamos a ver quiénes se van a escapar. Um, I'm sorry. I have a... Uh, it's not my computer, so I don't know how to take a photo. So how to... How I to. prefer so... But... The chat. <laughs> Okay, my, that's good. This is this is my face. Always. Oh come on! <laughs> oh, well. Yes, always yes. smile. Always. That's good. Kenya Reyes, are you there, Kenya? <clears throat> okay, eso le iba a preguntar. Cuidado, piso mojado. <laughs> okay, say it is a very resbaladizo. Okay, good job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no <laughs> puedo dibujar. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Jessica Araceli. Okay, so it is not smoking, right? Ah, pero ese, 
pero ese ya lo tenemos conocido. Ok. What about the others? Vamos a ver cuántos se fueron ya. Quiero ver. ¿Quiénes ya fueron capaces de retirarse sin haber entregado su tarea? <risa> Varios se retiraron ya sin haber entregado la tarea. Ok, guys. You have to draw your symbol. And tomorrow you are going to shove them to the rest of the class. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, porque si no aquí vamos a estar hasta las 11. No, no, it's impossible. Ok, guys. So, see you, good night. Ok, see you tomorrow. Good night. Take good care of yourself. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you. God bless you. So do you. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.